is in this industry and on social media versus making a bag so much more i want to say about this video so this is my part two i love that she decided to take a break on brand deals and take a step back to reevaluate what she's doing and the content that she's creating online and what kind of influencer she wants to be instead of just chasing the bag honestly i wish a lot of you guys would do this because here's the thing when we have a ton of influencers doing the same shits as everybody else we don't have actual influencers you can't all be influencing the same shit like it just don't make sense like you're not an influencer like at this point you're all just copies of each other not that you're copies not that you're copies i'm just making a point right to be an influencer is to actually influence something right like and to do that you have to have a stance on something you have to stand for something you have to have a belief that you follow you have to have a value that you stand by and if you don't again you are in the sea of a bunch of other people who also don't have a value and just want to get the cash grab right and i think that's why a lot of content creators end up getting like run over and kind of like taken advantage of in this industry because when you don't know what you stand for it's hard for you to say no to brand deals because you just want the money it's hard for you to know what you're going to create content on and when you don't know what content you're creating it's hard for you to know what your demand is going to be right and a lot of times i'm going to tell you right now as much as as long as i've been in the entertainment industry and now in the influencer industry these people can't tell you what really they're looking for. That shit change all the time. So really what they want is people who actually have influence, people who actually can encourage thousands and hundreds of people to act on something that they believe in. And if you are simply just pushing out product, you are merely just a shelf that's nothing other than what we got in the store, in the brick and mortar stores. So I think it's so important that if you want to become an influencer that you genuinely think about, well, what do I want to stand for? And how can I be an influencer in that? And then from there, you figure out what kind of content you're going to create. Am I going to be an influencer that gets people's attention through my knowledge or through my personality or through my type of content, the visuals and things that I can do? Like then your ideas can begin to, you know, be executed. But I think a lot of creators, a lot of people just get into this work because they want the bag. And when you are just focused on the money, you lose sight of all the other things that you need in order to survive and make it in this industry. Again, this is the entertainment industry. So you got to have more than just money in mind. You know what I'm saying? Like you really have to have something underneath, some sort of foundation. Anyway, I love this video. Please go back and watch it. I think everybody needs to hear this conversation.